Alright, you guys already read the title. I don't have to tell you what this video is. Go to Google or whatever the hell you have with Nexus Mods, the website. Open Nexus Mods and Community. Make sure you have an account. If you don't already, you can make that. I'm not going to show you how. Type in keyboard icons. Oh, sorry, you're going to just... You don't type it in. Or, you don't press enter. Uh, Dark Souls 3, Lou Bob, keyboard icons. Manual. Slow down mode, unless you pay for the website. If you pay for it, then you know how to press the fast one. If you press the fast, it's an extra 5 seconds, who gives a shit? Go to requirements, IGP 11. Requirements under description, that is. Make sure you go here. Then you can press that. Manual, same thing as the last time. Slow down mode. Just an extra 5 seconds, not a big deal. And it's only 2.6 megabytes, the other one's a couple kilobytes. Make sure that's done. Then you can close Google. There you go. Now we can go ahead to the files. Uh, downloads. Press it, and then you can drag it. You have to press it first, then drag it. Uh, now we're going to go to unzip this. IGP installer. If you have to unzip this, I don't know if it just remembered it. Ignore this, you won't get that, what I just got. I keep, I installed it and now I uninstalled it to make this tutorial so I can show you exactly what it looks like without making you guess. Next, next, next. Yeah. Close. Close. Open IGP 11. Should be on your desktop. Dark Souls 3. You're gonna go here. You're gonna go to your drive, whichever it is. Steam library, Steam apps, common. Uh, uh, Dark Souls 3 game, Dark Souls the application, EXE, textures, override, press this arrow on override path, ignore these, you won't have these, I, I, like I said I had it already, I just remembered. Then you want to go to IGP 11, uh, text dump, Sorry. Go here. Or sorry, it's override, not dump. Drag that into override. 7 zip or whatever you have. Extract here. It's going to make a new file. Also called text override. Copy and paste all of these. I'm going to do it the visual way. I'm sure you guys know how to control C and control V. Now you're going to control V to paste that. Or you're going to right click and then paste. You can delete these now. And then you make sure that it's in text override. Make sure that you paste these. I know that it seems like an extra step, but if they're still in that folder and it has to go through two text overrides, it won't. And it, you're not going to get it to work. Now, every time you launch the game and you want these keyboard settings, let me do this because I keep forgetting every time I make another tutorial, you can delete these. The zip files, keep this on your desktop preferably. Every time you launch the game and you want the keyboard icons, you have to launch it through IGP 11. If you do get a controller and want the controller settings back, you just have to launch it through Steam. Right? It's pretty simple. If you want if you want the hot if you want the keyboard ones, IGP. Every time you have to launch it through IGP and you'll get your keyboard. If you launch it through the desktop icon of Dark Souls, or you launch it through Steam, it'll just be the controller. Go to System. Or sorry, you don't have to, I'm just doing this to show you. See? Back. It gives you all the keyboard icons. Nice. Alright, let me end this damn video. Any com- uh, if you have any questions, which you shouldn't, just ask in the comments.